After retrieving his engine in the impact site, Olimar heads out into the upper atmosphere, taking a gander at the planet he has crashed onto. After his gander has been taken, he decides the best course of action would be to search for more ship parts in a part of the planet he dubbed the Forest of Hope. With its forest aesthetic and a bulb orb, let's see what you couldn't miss. As soon as we break ground on this new forest, we run into two dwarf bulb orbs prodding the ground for food. While usually this is done near plants, here we see the dwarf bulb orbs seemingly prodding with no clear reason as to why. However, if we look directly to the right, we find the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. Due to its eternal properties, it must have been generating excess fuel that slowly seeped into the soil around its resting place. This must mean that the dwarf bulb orbs were prodding not only for food, but for the excess jet fuel as well. This tells us that dwarf bulb orbs can gain nutrients from fuel, but also enjoy the taste and treat it as a delicacy. The Forest of Hope is home to many of Olimar's parts, but more importantly than any of those parts is the Yellow Onion, home of the Yellow Pikmin. Yellow Pikmin are practically the inverse of Red Pikmin. Instead of a long nose, they have long ears, and instead of having massive muscles, they are lightweight. But one difference is not like the others. Like how many animals are natural hunters, Yellow Pikmin are natural bombers, knowing their way around explosives like the back of their hand. While this fact is very odd, the evolutionary conditions that required this adaptation to occur in the Yellow Pikmin must have been even more odd. One can only imagine what threats they must have come against to require evolving into bomb specialists. Olimar, realizing he needs more help, leaves and comes back with Blue Pikmin companions. Utilizing their ability, we are able to retrieve the shock absorber from across a small spring, but before we acquire it, we come across a bulb orb sleeping next to it. These creatures are usually nocturnal, so it's not odd to see them sleeping, but them choosing to sleep here of all places seems to be a severe misunderstanding. This bulb orb must have read the label on the part that calls it a shock absorber, and the bulb orb, since they are constantly shocked awake by dwarf bulb orbs, thought this part would protect him from the shock that would come from being awakened suddenly. However, no matter how absorbent the shock this part is, it can't do anything about psychological shock, leading to the bulb orb being even more shocked than usual when he wakes up to getting attacked by our Pikmin. The mini-boss of the Forest of Hope is the Armored Cannon Beetle. This enemy is the obstacle blocking the radiation canopy from our grasp. However, he doesn't do a very good job of keeping it away from us. Due to his heavy body and all or nothing boulder attack, many of his movements often lag behind many of the actions the Pikmin take. Missing attacks would make you think you would decide to evaluate his strategy and maybe change it up, but the Armored Cannon Beetle actually relishes in his over-the-top attacks and style. If we look closely at its face, clearly its mouth is open in excitement to show off its flashy attacks. The main boss of the Force to Hope is the Burrowing Snagrit. This enemy is very ironic, being the only bird enemy in the game, and instead of being able to fly, it burrows into the ground to avoid the Pikmin's onslaught. However, irony aside, the burrowing Snagrit is one of the only bosses to have another of its species in the same radius. This can cause this fight to get very messy if both attack you at once. However, the fact that there are two Snagrits begs the question of what they were doing before we arrived. Judging by the season of the Forest of Hope, this would be around the time mating season would start for the birds. This must mean Olimar disrupted these two Snagrits during a sacred moment. This wouldn't matter too much if it wasn't for the fact that many birds travel in flocks. So if the word ever got back to the flock that two Snagrits were assassinated during a sacred moment, Olimar's journey would have gotten a lot harder. And that? is the end of this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do.